Good morning, Ace. I'm going to show you how to set up your midterm. So once you launch InDesign, you'll have this screen here. Let me make it full screen. And then you're going to click Create New. See this button? Create New. From here, you're going to type 11 inches, 17 inches. Make sure this says inches. Give it a name. I think you should call it ace underscore midterm. So you can tell what it is. You want it to be two pages. You do not want this checked. Don't check facing pages. Three columns, a quarter inch 0.25 gutter, and 0 0.5 for margins all around. Make sure this chain looks linked, not unlinked. You can click preview and it will put your document in the background and you can click create. This is how you start. So you can see if with this slider Page two is down there, page one is up here. Then if you click on the ruler and drag down, you wanna make a mark that is three inches away from the top. So there's 17, 16, 15, and 14. So that's three inches from the top plus the half inch margin. So 13.5, do you see that little gray box? Let me zoom in, zoom. And now I'm gonna grab this ruler again. So you can see, I want it at 13.5. All right, now I'm gonna zoom out. and I'll show you how to start. First, I wanna show you that slideshow. Let me get that open. So you can see what I'm referring to. The slideshow is in your folder, in the midterm folder. I think you've already accessed it. I'm just opening my slides. So of course, I've already read the slideshow, so I know what it says, but I'm gonna keep it here so I can show you what I'm referring to. The first thing I'm gonna do is build a masthead. So in building the masthead, I talked to you about that on slide. See, we're already all the way down here. Slide seven. That's where I talk about how to build a masthead. So these red things over here, those are all mastheads. Let's build one for yours. We'll get the text frame and I'm gonna build this one two columns wide. I'm going to type the name of the newspaper. You make up your own name. I'm going to make one up too. I'm going to call mine Student News. Let me zoom in on it for you so you can see. So here's my masthead. I want the text to be white. So I'm going to make it paper and I want the box. I'm changing my tool. I want the box to be red. So now I have a red box and I have white text. Now I'm going to set the text up. I've instructed you to choose a sans serif font. So there's one right there has no serifs and I need to make it bigger. And now, just to make it work well, I'm going to center it. And that centered it uh, 
horizontally, but now I want to center it vertically. So I'm going to go to Object and Text Frame Options. So here I can choose to center it up and down as well. And now I can make it larger. Let's see, 72 is as big as the list offers. So I'll just type in 100. I think I can kern it a little bit here and then make it even bigger. So for now, I think this is good. I hope you'll come up with a different name. And remember, you can always do something completely different. Like, I'm going to take this word student out. And I'll just put it in this box. I know you can't see it, but because it's white text. But now I'm going to change this to Arial Black. So now it's a different font, but it's still sans serif. See that? Still sans serif. So that could get a little bigger to fill this space. You want to fill your space as much as you can. And then I'm going to try this word student up here. That doesn't quite fit. I'll make it all caps and make it smaller and I'll also make this one Arial black so it's smaller now how can I use my gestalt theory to make this fit nice see I'd like for the N to be the same height as that so maybe if I make the N a little bit bigger and bring the E closer to it, that's a part of it. But now I want it to fit perfectly. I really want to use that space up well. So I'm going to spread this out. There. See how I've lined this up with that? This is me using Gestalt theory to make sure everything lines up. I'll leave it right here and I'll make another video for you for the next steps, okay?